Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today I wanted to talk to you and do a review on a product that was um, a friend had brought to my attention. And um, she is actually a, um, like a representative, I guess, kind of a thing, as you want to call it. Um, she is affiliated with them in some way. So that's what I, maybe that's the word I'm looking for. Um, and she knows how I always like my beauty products um, and trying things out and everything. So um, she contacted me and I've known her um, since, I don't know if I want to say kindergarten, but definitely first grade. We went through um, Catholic school and high school and everything. So I've known her a very, very long time. And um, she does Zumba classes, actually. She's a teacher for Zumba classes that are um, not far, far from here in the next town from here. And um, so she wanted me to do a review. And what the review is on is it's called, um, is it the Makeup Eraser? Yeah, it's called the Makeup Eraser. I never heard of this, but I did notice on another site... I forget what it was. I'd seen that they had these up, but now I'm forgetting what it was. Was it Morphe brushes? Because somebody was talking about Morphe the one day. Well, anyway, so this, it, it, it's pink, and it's it's a nice, it's like a wash, it's a washcloth. Um, and on this one side here, it is a little more furry, furry, do I want to say furry kind of, one side you can use and like wash your face. The other side you can do um, an exfoliation um, on the other side, like kind of buff a little bit more and exfoliate a little bit more. Um, the interesting thing about this is you only are to take water um, and just wet the cloth, that's it. You don't put no product on it, like no soap of any sort or anything like that. You don't put any product on it it's just water that's it and it is to clean off all your makeup even waterproof um, eyeliner mascara and things like that it is to wash it all off um, it is good for a thousand uses I believe is what it is so after you can you can wash this put it in the washer you know wash it and everything which Unfortunately, mine's still a little bit damp. <laughs> I should have tried to make sure it was more dry, but mine is a little more damp. But anyway, um, and it doesn't leave anything, you know, like on them or anything like that. You know, like, uh, I mean, obviously when you take your makeup off, the makeup's going to be on here. But once you wash it off, it's, you know. I'll actually read you a little bit more about it, which I can flip over and, and read more to you because I'm on my other part of my camera here kind of cold today. Yeah. Okay, it says the makeup eraser is an all-natural method of, of your removing makeup. No harsh chemicals needed, just wet the cloth with water and all your makeup is removed, including waterproof eyeliner, mascara, HD makeup, and much more. The best part of the makeup eraser is it is reusable, throw it in the wash, and no stains remain. The makeup eraser will last one uh, 1,000 washes and eliminate your needs by product by product to remove your makeup. The makeup eraser is pink with a sateen edge plush and soft to the touch. Treat yourself to a spa at home every day while saving money. Um, they do range, it is $20 for one. Um, they do range around $20. Um, what was the other thing I wanted to read? Um, about uh, their story. Uh, the story is um, Makeup Eraser LLC was established in 2012 by three generations of women in one family. Pretty interesting. I didn't know this anyway. Uh, it says we all wear makeup and we're frustrated by the makeup removal products. After research and lots of makeup we found the product that removes our makeup with just water. We love makeup but we don't love sleeping in it. So which neither do I. Um, so anyway, where am I at here? Trying to get back to me. So anyway, um, I have used it um, a couple different times. Um, 
and I do have to say that the la the times that I have used it, it did remove all my makeup. Um, I did find it, like, for me, I still, like, I would use it first. Like, normally, this is probably the best way, normally what I would do is, when I'm taking off my makeup, is I would take a uh, makeup wipe, makeup cloth, and remove makeup with it. And then I would proceed to use a cleanser, um, and, excuse me, got an itch. I would use a uh, cleanser and then cleanse my face. Um, that was usually, that's usually my routine. And then I would just go from there, like do the toner thing, you know, just all these different things and stuff. Um, so with this here, like after I had done it and it took all my makeup off, I still felt like I wanted to use a cleanser because I still feel, you know, like when I used a cleanser, I have to say after doing this and with, then using a cleanser, I have to say I didn't notice like any extra uh, makeup on, but I just felt better because it felt just more a little more clean to me. I don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever at all, but that's what I, what I ended up doing. And then, um, the other side, it says you can use to, you know, like exfoliate or buff. Um, I thought it wasn't too bad. I thought that part was okay. Um, I think just the part that I was really more intrigued in and impressed with was the makeup removal itself. I do pre I do pretty much like my washi cloth for the exfoliating and, and things like that because I just feel um, it just has a little more of um, texture to it to exfoliate the way I, I want to um, remove the dead skin. So, um, but if you're somebody that has sensitive skin, this would be another great um, choice to make in these cloths that are out there that remove makeup and everything because it is soft, so therefore it isn't going to irritate your skin as much. Um, I don't feel the washi cloth really irritates my skin. Um, you know, I do feel, because it has been known to um, be good for sensitive skin, but if you're just a little you know, uncertain with that and, you know, this might be the direction you want to turn and check out the, um, makeup eraser. I'm going to keep calling magic eraser. I think that's a cleaning thing from Dr. Mr. Dr. Geez, Mr. Clean. So off topic here. But anyway, um, I have to say though, I mean, like when you really think, when you really think about it, okay, um, I know for me, like when I get makeup wipes, depending how you get the pack of makeup wipes. I mean, only makeup wipes that I have really liked is the ones that are Neutrogena, um, or you can get the generic kind, the Quay kind. And they're roughly like about, well, the Equate, kind of, the Equate brand is usually like around $3 maybe. Yeah, something like that. And then if you get the Neutrogena ones, they're like around five or six or something. So, um, I guess you have to really figure on um, how much money do you spend on getting makeup remover stuff or wipes or whatever. That's one thing you'd have to think about, which that's what I was thinking about, because I thought, how much do I really spend, you know? Um, and with this having to last with a thousand washes, that's a lot. I mean... I don't know any package that you would get a thousand makeup wipes. Maybe at a Sam's Club. I've never been in a Sam's Club. I, I don't know. Would you pay the same? About 20 bucks or more? I, I don't know. Um, I know the other thing, and I'm sure maybe a majority of you have had this happen. Um, like there's sometimes I'll use a makeup wipe. And then I need to use a second one. So sometimes I'm using two of them instead of just one. Um, I've done that already before. Um, now, I do have a cleanser that I had tried that removed all the makeup. And I was pretty impressed with it. Um, 
you know, so I don't have a full size of it or anything. But then again, I thought to myself, um, you know, like this cloth here would be good, you know, because like on the days like where I want to save, I don't, you know, like if you want to save a little bit, of, um, you don't want to always use your cleanser, you have the uh, makeup eraser. I still want to say the other thing. So <laughs> you still, you'll still have that. So I don't know, because like for me, the cleanser is like $16 that I like, and it does remove all them. I was pretty impressed. Um, I did a review on it. I'm not gonna, whatever, but I did a review on it and everything. This here, um, I'm pretty impressed with too, uh, because all you have to use is water. But like I said, again, you know, I do have to use and cleanse my face. However, that's what I did regardless whenever I used my um, makeup wipes. So, um, but for me to kind of save in some sense, I think it would, I'm going to get one. I do want to have one and get one um, just so that like my in-between days because I don't wear makeup all the time I don't work on my makeup every single day I wear it but I don't wear it every single day so I think this will work out much better for me to have one of these to work in between sometimes um, and also use that cleanser at times because um, I just feel like maybe it'll help me save a little bit more um, and I won't have to keep buying makeup wipes um, and you know like do my rotation you know because I do have several cleansers that I do like to use I don't necessarily use um, one cleanser all the time neither I have a couple that are supposed to remove makeup um, but by far there was one that really removed it really good um, but I think I like the idea of this for those days where I just want to you know go ahead and uh, really you know, work with it and get my makeup off. So I guess it's just one of them things like, um, you know, do you, do you have to have it? You, you don't have to have it unless you're somebody, I mean, if you have your Holy Grail, then obviously, but, um, I think it's a good item for anybody to go ahead and give a try and, um, you know, see how, see for yourself, basically. Um, now, I'm going to demonstrate here, because as you can see, I have a full face of makeup. That's why I left it on. It is late at night. It is after one in the morning. So I want to take my makeup off now because I'm tired of having it on now, and I want to take it off. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my makeup. I do have to stop this for the moment to wet my cloth and come back in here, and then I'm going to show you um, how well it does take my makeup off and clean my makeup off with just the water and the cloth itself. No uh, soap, um, anything of any sorts, any of that stuff. So I will be right back. All right, I'm back and I wanted to get the cloth all wet. So I'm gonna be using the fluffier side. There's one side, You'll see the difference if, if you have or get one and have one. One's a little more fluffier, the other one's a little, uh, do I want to say less fluffy? Is that how I want to say it? So yeah. I don't know how else to say it. Alright, so here, let's go. go underneath and I, I try not to rub too hard on my eyes usually. I don't know if you guys are seeing that but which as you can see It's crazy because 
you can, um, I don't know how to explain it. I mean, you can feel and tell it's like a pretty unique material to be doing this, you know. I really get into nooks and crannies and everything. And then I'm going to show you in a bit here. Oh well, which of course, look at this wonderful thing looking all dirty now, huh? <laughs> okay, I'm going to take the other side. Kind of do this. It's not bad on this side. I mean, it doesn't feel extremely bad. But there's just something about the other one that I kind of whatever with, but I would rotate with it, you know. This is pretty cool thing. So it is. Don't you ever wish sometimes you were the person that like invented these things? <laughs> Like darn, why didn't I think of you know? Hey, you never know though, I guess. All right. So we have one heck of a mess on my cloth. <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> doesn't it look lovely? Just lovely. I'm gonna pat it, my face. Being that this is white, that's why I brought it in. I want to see. Let me, let me do that again. I'll do it on this side. I'm doing it real slow so you can see. Wait. That looks like a little bit there. So, it gets off most of it. I mean, like, there's still a little bit, like, as you see in there on that part of the towel. So, but it, that's what you get for wearing, as they call it, bulletproof, bulletproof kind of makeup. But other than that, I mean, uh, as you can see, I might as well pat dry my throat again. As you can see, though, for the most part, I mean, like, really... You know, it got a lot of the stuff off. I can see, I can see a little bit here. Whoops, I'm moving my thing around. It's, I can see a little bit here still. Um, let me double check and see. Here's the, maybe it's not, maybe I'm, I don't have my mirror. Yes I do, here's a mirror. Let me see. I keep thinking it looks like there's some there, but maybe maybe my lashes are longer than what I realized. Okay. Alright, let me bring you in close again. It's me, I guess. But you can be the judge, too. I mean, like, I don't have that. What is that underneath that you get sometimes where you look like almost like a raccoon? I just ignore that. I'm wonderful breakout up there that happened but uh, I see I, I just think it does do really good so, um, I will put my friends link down below so if you do want to check it out which that lipstick and that's still on my hand let's try that because I'm curious because if I wore that lipstick is it going to take this lipstick off oops wrong side you know, I want to see if it's going to take it off. Mm. I'll tell you what, that lipstick is some bulletproof and lipstick because look at that. So, 
it's going to probably depend still. I think it's a good product. Not that I, I don't think. I think it's a good product. I think it's just going to depend on what, because still, <laughs> I think it's just going to depend on what you have on to a degree too. But for the most part, as you've seen, I did take it off. Most of my stuff off. This lipstick is a bugger though. I wonder what the Rimmel one's like. I can't wait to get the Rimmel ones because I'm going to try it and compare it to this because I'm kind of curious because Rimmel's supposed to have ones that are supposed to stay. But at any rate, that's my review on it. So I do think it's a good product. I wouldn't say it takes, it, it's, I wouldn't say it takes every single brand of makeup off because I still, it still seems to be that there's probably some brands that certain things that's in it that it's going to have a little harder time or you have to work with it a little bit more is what I guess I want to say. Um, you know, it's just really going to depend. So, because like this lipstick here, I mean, I've scrubbed several different times. So, and if it was on my lips, I don't know. Boy, I might have to figure out what I am going to do to take that lipstick off. But um, I do think it's a great, you know, product and invention kind of a thing. Um, and if you are somebody that, you know, buys makeup wipes and you want to give this a try, totally say, give it a try. I'll put my friend's link down below and you can order yours from there. It is $20 and it is good for a thousand uses. So, um, you wash it and everything else, you know, and, um, I think it's a pretty, I think it's a pretty good concept. I, I don't know if there's really a full on total miracle well, kind of think of it, the one cleanser that I have that I really like really well so far, I'm wondering if that will take this lipstick off. I'll have to try that sometime and, and whatever because I'm curious because that was a pretty good cleanser to take makeup off. I've never seen one do that before, like melt that well. Um, but for cloth, this one did a really good job. So I would give it a thumbs up still because it pretty much took everything off, just had a few little whatever is here and there but other than that it pretty much took everything off so um i just still prefer which i'm going to do after this is uh cleanse my face do a cleanser after this um and then tone do a toner and all that i just prefer to do that um i just i feel a little more clean not that i feel real dirty but it just makes me feel a little more refreshed put it that way. So anyway, I hope that was helpful for you babies, and I will put my friend's link down below. Go and check it out, and um, you can place an order there. Uh, contact her if you have any questions you want to ask. You can uh, definitely ask her any questions at all. Um, and uh, so yeah, that's about it. So thanks so much beauties for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, also, if you're not subscribed, we'd love to have you, and um, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And as always, beauties, please remember to please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. Until the next time, take care. Love y'all. Bye bye.